Hello and welcome. In this video we'll discuss how a Luxel switch can help control spanning tree protocol or STP when using Sonos. In order to understand what spanning tree is and why it's important, let's talk about broadcast traffic on our network. Broadcast traffic is basically a message that is sent from one device on the network to every other device on the network. Each device then must process that message and decide one or the other of these things, whether to do something about it or whether to do nothing about it. The thing we need to be aware of for purposes of this is realize that processing is happening in each device regardless of its decision of whether to do something about that broadcast message or not. A broadcast message example is something like Bonjour, which is commonly known as AirPlay, or DLNA, or DHCP, or any self-discovery service or self-discovery device on a network. The problem comes is when a loop occurs on the network, which means broadcast messages that are going out to each device go around and around and around. This then creates a broadcast storm. A loop can come from either wiring or from a product itself. And let's go through this a little bit. So to understand how this works, let's say that I've got a computer or a device on the network that's going to send out a broadcast message. And you have two switches in your network. And you've connected one of these switches up with an Ethernet cable from one to the next. But then someone else comes along and doesn't realize that your switch has already been connected and plugs another Ethernet cable in from one switch to the next. Now you have two connections from those switches and you essentially have a loop. So what happens is this machine here sends out a broadcast to that first switch. And the switch's job is nothing more than to say, I know what to do with this message, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to send it out all of my ports. So it does that, and it sends it down both cables to that second switch. And the second switch gets it and says, I know what to do with this broadcast message. I know that it needs to go to every device on the network, so I'm going to duplicate it and send it out all of my ports. And it sends it back up to that first switch. Of course, the first switch sees the message come again and says, I know what to do with this. I'm going to duplicate it and send it out all of my ports. And you can see how this is going to increase and go around and around and around and make it so that all of the devices on the network aren't able to process all of the information because there's too many broadcast messages coming to them at one time. As a result, the network traffic increases to such a rate that all of these broadcasts keep going around and around and around the network which causes all of the other devices to not be able to properly talk to each other on the network and that effectively makes it so that the network stops working. Well what happens when we add Sonos into a system? Commonly in our industry we use Sonos as an example because of the way that they work on a network. As with any device we always want to plug it in Ethernet if possible. Ethernet is always a better connection than wireless. Well, Sonos also has a wireless setup that is automatically running that they use to make it easy for the general consumer. And that's called SonosNet, which means they create a wireless link between each one of their devices regardless of whether it is hooked up via Ethernet. So now, as you can see, we've got two Ethernet lines, one going to each Sonos Connect, and the wireless link in between them, which now creates a loop in our network. So if I have a device out here that is going to send a broadcast, it of course goes across to the switch, and the switch does its job and says, I know what to do with this, I'm going to duplicate it and send it out all of my ports. And it does that and reaches the Sonos devices and send it across their wireless link and then back up to the switch. The switch gets it again and says, of course, I know what to do with this, I'm going to duplicate it, and the process starts over and over and over again, and you get a broadcast storm because of this loop in your system. Well, what does Spanning Tree do and why is it important? Spanning Tree automatically detects and prevents loops in the network from broadcast messages. 
Spanning tree is a fancy network term, but it's very simple in what it actually does. Here's the difference between the two types of switches. With an unmanaged switch, they will pass spanning tree, which means the switch will just pass that broadcast message along. It won't try to stop it. It won't try to do anything with it. It just passes it along as a normal unmanaged switch would. One little tech tip though is, if you are going to hardwire all of your Sonos devices, please plug them into the same switch because as long as they're all plugged into the same switch, the broadcast won't go around and around and around. It will all stay within that switch. It won't go out to the network outside of that switch. The reason this works is because Sonos devices do run a version of spanning tree inside their own machines. So when everything is plugged into the same switch, their spanning tree will kick in and detect the loop and drop it, thereby making your network able to continue to function. However, managed switches are a little different. They do what's called support spanning tree, and so they do try to do something with it. The reason why this is important on Luxel switches is because spanning tree is on by default in all of our AV series switches and the XMS 2624P, which means you don't have to set anything up. Everything with Sonos now becomes plug and play when you're using one of our switches. On the XMS 1010P and XFS 1816P, there is a little bit of setup that is required. It is, however, easy to set up. Please refer to the video on how to set up spanning tree on the XMS 1010P and XFS 1816P for instructions. Thanks for watching our video on how Luxel switches make Sonos plug and play.